Alright, my first camera collection video went over so well, I figured I'd do another one. So here's the rest of my collection uh, so far. Here is an Argus Super 8 millimeter film camera. It's from the 70s, I think. Um, it's Argus Model 810. Really nice, clean, through the lens metering, fixed focus. Um, electric runs on four C batteries, or not C batteries, AA batteries. It also has one for the light meter, which is annoying. Very beefy camera. It looks really neat, actually. I'd love to be able to use it, but it doesn't make the film anymore. Here is one of my actual picture-taking cameras. This is a 1973 Yashica GSN. Uh, it's the Electro 35 family. As you can see on the top there, it says Electro 35. This has a light metering system right there. Um, it'll tell you whether your aperture's yet correctly. It's got a battery test thing there that lights up the, uh, t uh, the counter. It has a color Yashica on DX coated lens. Color corrected. Six elements. Very wicked piece of glass for an inexpensive rangefinder. This particular one is made in Hong Kong. Parallax collecting viewfinder. Or correcting viewfinder, not collecting. Um, you can see the little angles there. Really nice fast lens. I'd love to do another video of this one. Like an actual one just based on the camera. Here is a Kodak Instamatic X15F. And it's a very inexpensive, cheap, not very flimsy though. Uh, it's made out of plastic. Takes 56 film. Only bought another one because my mom used to have one of these and she took it to San Francisco. Which is interesting, got lots of pictures from that. Not going to show any because I don't know where they are. Um, I do have the original one that she took, although I cannot find it. This is just um, one that I bought because I thought it was neat looking. Very nice little camera. You should really get flash bar sticks to about that long and you did plug into the top. I believe it was flash bar. The, the flash bar too, you'd be able to get you plug it on the top and you get flashes. The 670s used to take them as well. Here's a Polaroid one step close up. This is different than your regular Polaroid one step because it uh, has a little correcting lens for close up pictures. And also has a little tiny thing there for profiling. Light sensors there obviously. Takes the usual 600 speed film. This is exactly like a 635CL, except it's not as angular. Inexpensive. And Real Thrills providing the music in the background. The ting, 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 ting noise is the flywheel being loose. Here's a Ricoh XR10. This is my SLR camera. Takes a Pentax K bayonet mount lens. Um, right now it's got the regular one on it. Uh, this is AT&T across the top for some reason. That's a Ricoh XR10. Hot shoe. Uh, flash. White balance. That's for the factual on the film. It'll take ASA to 3200 speed, automatic exposure, pretty much everything. Goes up to a thousandth of a second. Hit counter, you can leave that sink sprung out there like that. That wakes up the light meter when you haven't used it for a while. It turns off after eight minutes. You can see through the viewfinder there. You can see that little tiny bar, that clear bar, off to the far right of the viewfinder. That's actually the little thing that tells you the speed of the camera. I can even focus down on things. Take things out of focus. Put them back in focus. Very nice. I'll do a video on this one as well. Here is possibly Polaroid's worst camera. It's a Polaroid Joy Cam. It takes uh, special cartridges. I'm not going to show one. I do have one. It was in it, but it's so cheap that it weren't even electric. Look, watch this. You have to pull on that to pop the film out. Which then, when it pushes back in, it pops up in this red button, which does squat when there's no battery in it. It's got a flash. Crummy viewfinder with a very small hole. Flash switch. That's pretty much all it is. It's just, a, basically it's for a kid. You can buy them for like 50 cents pretty much anywhere. Here is a 1954 Arret IA, or 1A. This has the guesstimation focus, which means there's no real way to focus it other than like guessing. It goes from um, one second up to three hundredth of a second. Maximum of two hundred ASA film. There's no light meter, no rangefinder, no nothing. Just basically point and shoot. And it's got there's a little red box in there, but you can't really see it. Line lever. They put the shutter down there. Flash sync, remote, everything. Very simple. Here's your aperture. 
It's not even a click, 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 click. It's just a smooth moving ring. It's a, it's a nice. That's actually a nice compact light one. And it's about the same size as a standard SLR, actually. Possibly one of the prettiest cameras of that design ever made. And here is a 1954 Kodak Duraflex 4. This has the original box. I'm not kidding either, I'll show it to you. Here's the lid. With the flash outfit. And I've got the flash over here, but I'm not going to bother showing that. But this is a twin lens reflex, which means you look through the viewfinder on the top. And you see through that lens. Picture taken lens. And it sets the shutter. You can actually see it do its thing. Little red camera there. It's really nice, actually, little camera. It takes 600 speed film, which you cannot buy anymore. However, if you respool 120 film, it will fit. What the hell is that damn song playing? Anyway, this is a 1950 something Kodak Brownie. This is what happens when you run out of time when you're wind. You can see. If it wasn't on a tripod, you could see all the way through there. You can see one little notch there. Um, there's another one there. <laughs> it's for parallax correction. You wind it up. This is broken, so it doesn't really... It just flops around everywhere. This is broken as well. There's no lens. It's just pretty much just a display piece. Unfortunately. And I've even got the leather case for that. And just because of the time... I'll just throw this in. This is my friend's Yashica FX3. I'm repairing it for him. At least trying to. The electrician's tape is to apply the bad, dead vinyl. It's just sort of a temporary thing. It doesn't look too bad. Um, this one, when you wind the lever, which is obviously taken off, that's the problem. Um, it's not really so much fixing it, but anyway. When you wind it, it's supposed to make the mirror pop back down, but this one, because you can't wind the film anymore, because something broke off, not the wind lever, something inside that took the wind lever off. But you can't see it in the viewfinder anymore, so all you get is like dark, not darkness. It takes a, um, I can't remember, it's a nice a bad fan at mount, but I think it, it, it's, it's from a company, they bought Yashica in the late, in the mid 80s. I can't remember what the name of the company was, it wasn't Conic, I think it's Contax or something. It takes a Contax lens. But, uh, that's pretty much the camera collection for now. Um, I'll do a video on this one, this one, and perhaps some of the other ones in the future. Thanks for watching.